that at this point, they're dangerous. They're dangerous to our national security because stoking that kind of soft white nationalism eventually leads to the hardcore stuff. What is she talking about? MSNBC host Joy Reid is referring to the victory of a black woman Republican in Virginia. So again, what white supremacy craziness is Joy Reid talking about? Winsome Sears is a black woman. But Joy Reid and the rest of the progressive left are furious about Winsome Sears' victory, a clear electoral success for a black woman Republican, which totally destroys the progressive left's narrative about Republicans representing the values of gun-toting white supremacists. Boy, have they been proven wrong with this historic victory of a patriotic, gun-toting black immigrant woman. Yes, she is all of these things. Even more damaging to the left's toxic narrative is that Win Winsome Sears grew up a poor immigrant and today has been elected lieutenant governor of Virginia. She represents the true epitome of the American dream, a dream the progressive left denies exists because they claim America is really a racist, sexist, anti-immigrant country that only serves the white male patriarchy and no one else. Winsome Sears' victory is a positive step signaling a major blow to the progress of the destructive left's agenda, not just in America, but all over the world. So let's take a step back, because the election result in Virginia last week was historic. The Democrats got demolished at the polls in Virginia last week, and it is a watershed moment for U.S. and world politics, potentially. That's not me saying this, but Vice President Kamala Harris. Because you see, what happens in Virginia will in large part determine what happens in 2022, 2024, and on. Yes! Finally, something I can agree upon with Kamala Harris. So what is so groundbreaking about the Yunkin Sears win in Virginia, you ask? Well, Governor Yunkin and Lieutenant Governor Sears, their ticket pivoted hard to education, firing up Virginia parents with promises to give parents more control over what children learn in school. Pretty basic, right? This has become a hot topic issue for parents across the United States because of the growing parental anger regarding the progressive left's push for race education, or as it is now called, CRT, critical race theory. Youngkin specifically said that he would ban the teaching of critical race theory in Virginia classrooms, as he stated himself at a campaign event in Glen Allen last month, and I quote, what we won't do is teach our children to view everything through the lens of race. On day one, I will ban critical race theory, end quote. The fact that Winsome Sears, a black woman, was victorious on a ticket that is against the progressive left's racist race agenda is huge. And people cannot say that this was just an issue important to Glenn Youngkin, but that Winsome Sears herself just went along for the ride, not really believing in that agenda item. No, not at all. Winsome Sears herself is totally against the left's racist agenda, which includes the critical race theory educational program. Just listen to how Winsome Sears herself responded to Joy Reid of MSNBC when she was called out a white supremacist by Joy. I wish Joy Reid would invite me on her show. I'm, let's see if she's woman enough to do that. I'd go in a heartbeat and we have a real discussion without Joy speaking about me behind my back, if you will. She talks about white supremacy. Does she know that I ran against a white supremacist? I mean, Joy, come on, get your facts straight and then come talk to me. It just continues to divide us and, 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 and unfortunately politicians are using it as a tool because of the things that have happened to us historically to advance, I would think, their nefarious purposes. And so if we stop just looking at race and just looking at people, because you see, I'm destroying all the narratives about race. Look at me, look at me. I am a heartbeat away from the governorship in case anything happens to the governor. And a few weeks ago, 
Winsome Sears came to the defense of another black woman, Condoleezza Rice, who was attacked for also calling out this race agenda, critical race theory. Here is what Condi Rice said on The View. But if I could take a moment to talk about the whole issue of critical race theory and what is and is not being taught. Uh, I come out of an academic uh, institution and uh, this is a, something that academics debate, what is the role of race and so forth. And, and let me be very clear, I grew up in segregated Birmingham, Alabama. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't go to a movie theater or to a restaurant with my parents. I went to segregated schools till we moved to Denver. Mm -hmm. My parents never thought I was going to grow up in a world without prejudice, but they also told me that's somebody else's problem, not yours. You're going to overcome it and you are going to be anything you want to be. And that's the message that I think we ought to be sending to kids. One of the worries that I have about the way that we're, we're talking about race is that it either seems so big that somehow white people now have to feel guilty for everything that happened in the past. I, I mm -hmm. don't think that's very productive. Or black people have to feel disempowered by mm -hmm. race. I would like black kids to be completely empowered, to know that they are beautiful in their blackness, mm -hmm. but in order to do that, I don't have to make white kids feel bad for being white. So somehow, this is a conversation that has gone in the wrong direction. And this is how Winsome Sears publicly defended Condi Rice. As a proud black woman, it sickens me to see the hate and vitriol being directed at Secretary Rice for her comments on CRT, critical race theory. Her statement was spot on and I wholeheartedly agree. We will not be bullied or told how or what to think. That is her own public statement. She's totally on board with that agenda item together with Governor Youngkin. Bottom line, the Virginia victory last week represents how Americans are waking up to the destructive agenda of the progressive left and not going down without a fight. Will 2022 elections follow that same pattern? We don't know. But what happened in Virginia shows that the pendulum effect has begun, and we hope that Kamala Harris is right, that what happens in the Virginia elections will determine the 2022 and 2024 elections as well. And if the pendulum effect has begun in America against the agenda of the progressive left, then maybe, maybe we will also see this pendulum effect in other places around the world as well, like in Israel, where the progressive left is now in power, pushing through their destructive agenda as well. Regardless, this Virginia election is a lesson for all of us. Do not give up. If we stand up for our values, we can win. It is up to us to hold on to our values, our belief in the one above, and in our ability to bring about the changes we want. Be active participants in history, not passive. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.